Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Hello, Pisces, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Pisces, this will be your edition of Sexy Is Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Pisces, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders in the cards, keep in mind their energies. Pisces, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Pisces, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and Moon placements. There's a link to a free nature chart on the About page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accept to be a cash at a dollar sign sexy tarot. All right, Pisces, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. And this is your bonus reading for the beginning of October 2021. Well, it's occurring in mid-October, but you're getting a bonus reading for having a large amount of views. The first thing I'm going to do is get you six messages from your person to get a feel for your person's energy. Spirit, what does Pisces' partner want to tell Pisces? What does Pisces' person... I'm not ready to settle down. I'm not ready to settle down. So, Pisces, it seems like... um. Even if you're with your person, it's a possibility that there's a lot of responsibilities, um, things surmounting that's making your person realize, like, you know what, I'm not sure if I want to settle down. You have, we need to talk about everything. We need to talk about everything. And immediately when I got that card, I feel like some of you are already with your person, but the I feel like all of a sudden, I feel like my, my shoulders got heavy. I'm realizing your love was holding me together. Pisces, your partner, if they're not telling you, they're feeling a little bit of weak. They're feeling very weak right now. And... It's something in what you say or do that keeps this person feeling um, like they can make it through the... I'm hearing the next moment. Pisces, your person says you will always have a place in my heart. So, I don't know if your person is considering leaving you. For some of you, I'm getting that. For some of you, I'm not getting that. I just feel like um, your person feels... They're like facing a reality of like the heaviness, the heaviness of the situation. Because for some of you, I don't feel like your person leaving you. I feel like they're like, damn, I ain't expect all of this. But for some of you, you could be facing a separation. Spirit, what else does Pisces person want to tell Pisces? What does Pisces person want to tell Pisces spirit? You will always have a place in my heart, okay? So that definitely wanted to come out. Babe, I love you. I want to be with you. You get where I'm going with this? So I don't necessarily think your person trying to leave you. I think your person need a damn time out. Like I need a, is the, the weight of the world falling on their shoulders and they just need a break. And I don't know, my feelings are just like, I don't really feel like, your person trying to leave you. I just feel like they just like, damn, if I could just escape, I wasn't ready for all this. Spirit, what else does Pisces person want to tell Pisces? What else does what else does Pisces person want to tell Pisces? Now don't get it twisted. For some of you, your person is trying to leave you. So I want to say that. I just need to speak for both groups. I need more time to heal and love myself. 
For some of you Pisces, your person feels like they, um, they've been struggling with letting the connection go, is what I'm hearing. But you hanging on, I don't know who that's for. I'll make it up if you let me. I promise you that I am going to, going to be better. I'm telling you, I got, I got two sets going on here. I have a group of Pisces where your person feels like the weight of the world is on their shoulders. And I have a group of Pisces where your person is like, I'm ready to get out of here. Spirit, may I have two more messages from Pisces person to Pisces. We need to talk about everything. I'm telling you, there's a conversation about, I'm here balancing the load. The thought of you with someone else drives me insane. Yeah, Pisces, your person ain't trying to hear all that. Spirit, one more message from Pisces person to Pisces. One more message from Pisces person to Pisces spirit. May I have one more message. Okay. Maybe we're better off separated. You get where I'm going with this? So I got a group. I'm telling you, y'all think it's a game. The thought of you with someone else drives me insane. Now listen, I'm telling you, immediately when I started shuffling the cards, I have two sets of Pisces. I have a set of Pisces where your person I'm like, damn, I wasn't expecting this to be this heavy, but they're not trying to leave you. But then I got a set of Pisces where and you know who the hell you are. Your person is ready to be done with the connection. So I'm going to leave these cards to the um, left of me flipped up in case I need to refer to them during the course of the reading. So let's see what's going on with your person. I want to pray. I want to pray. Pisces. So, mm, your person doesn't feel like this is fair. They don't feel like, I told you, remember I said the load wasn't balanced? Justice. So this, when justice comes into play, some of you are done with a Libra. This usually means that something's not fair or it's not like equally yoked. You know what I mean? And with this emperor energy, some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. It's like this conversation that we need to talk is to take control over this situation because it's getting out of hand. And it seems that it, it might be balancing a resources, responsibilities, financial responsibilities. Shit, you cook the night, I cook tomorrow night, something like that. And then for some of you, if you're married, some of you might be facing a divorce. And before this divorce is pursued, it's like, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation is what I'm hearing. And for some of you Pisces, you know what category you fit in. And for some of you Pisces, your person just like, look, I just, you, it's you too controlling. Your per Because for some of you, your person feel like you too controlling. One good shuffle for the Pisces. Spirit, what does Pisces person want to tell Pisces? What does Pisces person want to tell Pisces? But this is not a light conversation. I'm feeling a lot of heavy energy. Pisces, how your person views you is, I told you, heavy, I say heavy right away, ten of wands. How your person feels about you, the magician. What's on your person's mind, Pisces, what they think of you, the eight of cups. Told you. What's at the root of the matter for your person? The seven of swords. The blockage, the obstacle, the challenge in a way for your person, Pisces, is the wheel of fortune. And this will be the potential outcome. Pisces, at the bottom of the deck, the reason you're watching and viewing this reading today is judgment. Judgment. Some of you are done with a Scorpio or an Aries. So I'm telling you, telling you, there's the ultimate decision about to be made here. But more importantly, someone has been awakened to something. You crosswise, I mean, you Pisces have been awakened to something. Okay? So you know it's decision time. It's decision time. And you feel this like real heavy on your spirit. At the bottom of the deck, you have the three of wands. You have the two of wands and the king of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. So, Pisces, for you, this is about stability. Um, you, some of you are definitely married. But this is, to me, this is confusion. You know, should I stay or should I go? 
Should I stay? Should I go? I feel like Pisces, this is inner conflict for you. Like, which way do you go to organize? Which way do you go to acquire stability? Should you go look looking somewhere else? You know, why isn't this plan working? It's like you in two minds. And for some of you, I went in, it's like I feel all this sword energy, even though it's no swords out here, like somebody overthinking something. Yeah, it's about which, which way do we move? Which way do we move forward? Because there needs to be a healing. Like, because what I'm getting is it's like a rough time going on. Yeah, like somebody feel rejected. Somebody feels very rejected. Is it you, Pisces? But you've been awakened that it's decision time. Pisces, how your person views you is a ten of wands. The ten of wands. Your person views you as having this tremendous load to bear. Like something is just too heavy on you. Like something is really difficult. It's hard. They view you as having this load that's so heavy that you want to drop. Or they can view you as being a heavy load that they want to drop. Take care how it apply. Spirit, why does Pisces person view them as a ten of wands? Why does Pisces... At the bottom of the deck, you have cutting. You have stress and crossroads. And you telling me the same thing. Like, look, sexy. I'm confused. I need all this stress to go away. What my person is telling you is correct, sexy. Okay. Well, Pisces, that's exactly how your person views you. Like, there's a lot of heavy burden, a heavy load, these challenges. Um, this is just so heavy. And that they, they view you as wanting things to change in your favor. Like, you want things to align in your favor so you can drop this load. Some of you might be looking for a job, or maybe you just have a lot of responsibilities and you're waiting for something to change so you know, so you can get some relief. Spirit, Pisces person view Pisces as having this huge. Spirit, like I already know what question you're going to ask, sexy. At the bottom of the deck, you have yes. You have unrequited love and should I stay? And Pisces, you like, damn, should I stay? I don't feel appreciated. I don't feel I don't feel like my efforts are matched. Or your person feels like should they stay because they don't feel like their efforts are matched. You understand? Because I have one person giving all their all and the other one like I don't feel the same anymore. So it's like this on defense energy. And I don't know, it could be relating to a job. A Pisces, your person views you as having a huge load to carry and that you want things to change to give you relief with this karmic release. Your person view you as learning a lot of lessons, though. They view you as um, learning a lot, lot of lessons. And for some of you, your person like, look, I need to, I need to let this go. Spirit. Why is karmic release here? Why does Pisces person view Pisces as karmic release? Why does Pisces... At the bottom of the deck, you have the fop. You have the book and the clover. 
and Pisces, it's like you hoping for some reconciliation. This can be a reconciling of finances, a reconciling with a person. But whatever it is, you need a decision to be made. But there's a catch. The catch is you don't know all that's involved. So you don't know exactly what plan to put into play for this, right? And it's like you're overthinking. You have this fear that things will not work out in your favor. And you just want relief. Well, Pisces, your person views you as like wanting to release these emotions. They view you as thinking about um how to move forward. That's you, Pisces. How to move forward. They view you as really wanting to let something go. This could be really involving finances. Like maybe some money just slipped out your hands. Or your person views you as wanting to release this love. Because those are a lot of emotions. Let's get into it. Spirit Pisces person view Pisces is wanting to release these burdens and wanting things to go in their favor. They view Pisces as thinking about how to release emotions and move forward. Tell me about this for Pisces or release them. Yeah, like it's like... So it's a burden on you. For some of you, it's a burden on you that your person want to let you go. And for some of you, it's a burden on you because you don't know how to let go of this feeling of angst, anxiety, in relation to finances, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you have juggling. You have trickster and falsehood. Pisces, you basically tell me you a liar. You are. You telling me you're a liar and that you juggling your person. You telling me you high in money. You juggling finances and you living a lie. Or you telling me this about your person. I've never seen these three cards come out together like that. You either feel this way about your person or you feel this way or you telling me that's you. Then please know that could be you messing with finances, robbing Peter to pay Paul. You know what I mean? Because I'm telling you, that fish card could be emotions or finances. That's why in the beginning of the read before I flipped any cards, I want to make it clear to you some of you, your person feels like you're just trying to get this financial burden off your back. And for some of you, your person wants to release the connection. Pisces, your person views you as still having hope for this connection. Just being optimistic, whether it's about your finances or if it's about the connection itself. The Pis Pisces, your person views you as still caring about the connection. And they view you as loving them. And your person does love you. I want to see what this still hope is about. So let's clarify that with Tarot. Spirit, Pisces person view Pisces is still having hope. Why still hope here for Pisces person? Why? That's too many. Why still hope here for Pisces person? At the bottom of the deck, you had the Hermit. Some of you are dealing with the Virgo. You had the Two of Cups and the Chariot. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer. And Pisces, what you're telling me is you did some soul searching about this connection. Because you know a decision has to be made. But you don't know if you're able to move on. You don't. You fear your person leaving you. And that's why you don't know you'll be able to move on without them. For some of you, you fear you lost the contract. 
Like this is you sitting here um doing this soul searching about a contract, a business contract, or your romantic connection. But there's a lot of emotions here. And you telling me you fear being left alone without your person. That's what you telling me. Well, your person view you as still having hope because this is what we're clarifying to renew this connection with the Ace of Cups. They view you as um as being confused with this two of wands energy about if you can if this can heal or not. So your person view you as like still having hope and trying to make a plan to renew this connection to put the work in because this is what you really want. But view you is like not knowing where to go from here is what I'm getting. And if this is not your read, this is not your read. Pisces, how your person feels about you is the magician. The magician. Some of you are Virgo, Scorpios, Geminis, or an Aquarius. Pisces, your person feels like that you want your ex back. I don't know who the hell this is for. Or they feel like that they want to make you their ex. So your person could feel like you manifesting your ex, or your person feel like they want to manifest making you their ex. For some of you, your person feels like, you know, they repeating a pattern here. Like, y'all break up the makeup. I'm getting that for someone. But your person feels like that you want your ex back and you gave your person a gift. And for some of you, I'm hearing it was a sexual gift. But it's decision time. Can we work this out or not? Some of you dealing with Scorpio. Okay. Spirit. They could feel like you manipulative. Spirit. Pisces person feels like they want to manifest their ex -pay. And that for some of you, your person feel like you want to propose Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, your person, for some of you, your person feel like you want your ex back. And that you lying to him and that you spending time with this person. At the bottom of the deck, you have eye candy. You have lunch and returning. So, Pisces, is somebody from your past? If this not your read, this not your read. Hit them motorcycles. It's somebody from your past that you return to or they return to you. And you feel like this person is eye candy and all you want to do is eat them up. Well, Pisces, your person feels like that they keep repeating this pattern with you of you giving to somebody else and they feel like you manipulating them and manifesting this ex-partner back. Like you got this unfinished connection with this person and it's a damn disaster. This is my tower call. This is Aries and Scorpio's energy. They feel like it's a damn disaster. They could have thought in their dreams. They feel like it really... um. It was revealed to them in the dreams is what I'm hearing. That you a cheater. They got like this warning dream or something. And for some of you, your person feels like. Was you talking in your sleep? This is deep. 
Pisces, every time I do your damn reading, I feel like I'm looped into this in this like sphere of a maze. Y'all Neptune energy is strong as ish. Spirit. Why does why is this disaster car here for Pisces person? Why does Pisces person feel like this is a disaster? Do y'all arguing? Saying harsh things to each other. This could be the parent of your child. Yeah, child. Yeah, somebody left for walking away or being awakened to like, yo, maybe I should just roll. At the bottom of the deck, you have the hangman. This is you, Pisces. You had the four wands, and again, some of you are married or in a stable connection, or this is involving your stability and the three of pentacles. Some of you are trying to find work. And it's like you can't find work. And you like, when I'm going to find this work? For some of you, you want to talk to your person because you want to hang on to this stability or hang on to this marriage. For some of you, there's a third party that you're trying to hang on to. Some of y'all going between this third party and your and your and your and your primary connection. The disaster is with this chariot energy, some of you are dealing with a cancer. It might be a breakup. And someone is like, look, I need to do what's best for me with this Empress card. I need to make some changes. And this person is thinking about like themselves right now and with this eight of cups they like look maybe i should just walk away they feel like your person feel like you are so listen this time again if you i know genders really don't apply but if you a male pisces your person feel like you want to walk away from them um the female Pisces might just want to get away. I'm hearing, I, I want to get away. I got to get away. And somebody want to get away here. But your person feel like they want to get away from you or they feel like you want to get away from them. Take it how it apply. Because Pisces, I'm telling you, every time I do your reading, I don't know who energy belongs to what. What your person thinks of you, this eight of cups, this eight of cups, they think you want to walk away, possibly from a marriage with this spiritual card, some of you are Tauruses, and if y'all separated, they think you want to return, because I'm being told to say that as well. For some of you, y'all about to get married. I'm telling you, I'm reading for like several Pisces. For some of y'all, y'all about to get married. Because with Stand By and Guard, and this reminds me of like, um, Stand By Me, and, and this is like having a wedding in the garden. But what I'm also feeling is there was this fiery argument or this fiery climax and your person is thinking like, you know what? They trying to stand by you in the face of the public or the adversity where they feel like they stuck with you because y'all married. But your person like, damn, it's like, can I walk away from this marriage or this commitment? You know, what would... What would everybody else think? What would everybody else think if I don't stand by this person? Spirit, Pisces person wants to walk away from this commitment or this stability. But it seems like Pisces person is worried about what everyone else is going to think. Because I'm hearing that clear. Tell me about this.
at the bottom of the deck you have lunch break work affair and your face and gossip so pisces you could have heard some rumors and whatever these rumors were it was about something about your person at work and maybe dealing with somebody at work or dealing with another person while in work hours well your person thinks that for some of you your person has two phones And because they had these two phones, you think they're shady. Oh, okay. You think your person is shady. Because somebody putting thoughts in, uh, in your head. If y'all telling people about your business, y'all should probably stop doing it. And my confusion is your damn confusion, because I ain't confused. So your person thinks that... Your person thinks that you think they want to leave you because of some gossip. I'm going to look in the shady. But your person could think you shady. Spirit, why does Pisces person think they're shady? Why does Pisces person think they're shady? Why does Pisces person think they're shady? Hmm. Huh. At the bottom of the deck is you, Pisces, with the moon energy, the eight of swords, and the six of cups. You like, well, you know, I do got a pass. There is somebody from my past. I got a lot of emotions for them, and I can't get over them. It don't apply, let it fly. Well, with the shady energy, your person feels like with this four swords energy that y'all was supposed to be healing this. Whatever happened in the past. You could be telling me that happened in the past. And your person like, yeah, we were supposed to be healing that. With this queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Your person feel like you shady, like you just, you, you trying to heal something possibly with a Sagittarius. Who's your true soulmate? It don't have to be a Aries or Sag. It don't have to be. But I always tell people this Queen of Wine show up as my side card. Because I got a Queen of Pentacles down here. So who the hell is the Queen of Wines? So your person think you shady and you trying to heal it with this Queen of Wines. Because you that's your true soulmate. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a magician. But they think that's where you want to go. Or you leave and take these breaks. They think you leave and take these breaks and go with this person. At the root of the matter for your person. The seven of swords. Your person feel like you shady. You sneaky. And they don't trust you. They don't feel safe with you. They feel like you uh like you just be off doing shit. Or at the root of the matter, your person could feel like that you think they sneaky. But this at the root of the matter for your person. 
and your person feels stuck. They don't know if they want to, uh, you know, wait on, wait on you to get it right. Wait on you to work on this. Wait on you to make these changes. It, it worries them. They, they like, damn, has the time run out? Is this worth it? Because y'all got some level of stability together, whoever y'all are. Whoever I'm speaking to, this is more like a, um, a living together situation or a marriage. But y'all spend a lot of time together in the domicile. In the domicile. Spirit, the root of the matter for Pisces person is this sneaky behavior. And Pisces person not feeling like they can trust Pisces. They don't feel like it's safe. They don't know if they want to wait around to put the work in. Tell me about this for Pisces person spirit. At the bottom of the deck, you have DMs, double taps, and likes. Running into and love is in the air. Some of y'all done with Gemini. So, Pisces, what you telling me that you ran into somebody and y'all exchanged social media information and you dig them or something like that, you feeling them, and you be liking and double tapping their stuff on IG, Facebook or something like that. So you ran into somebody. And you follow their social media. Well, your person feels like they don't know if they want to stick around for this because they feel like you slick. And they, and that you be um possibly inboxing people. That's who social media cards. That you be inboxing people. And you always got something up your sleeve juggling. That's at the root of the matter for your person. They feel like you juggling somebody else with them, Pisces, and that you secretly communicating with them. I want to look at these chit-chat hidden tweets. Because I already clarified Shady up there. Ain't no need to Spirit, tell me about this chit-chat hitting tweets at the root of the matter for Pisces person. Tell me about this chit-chat hitting tweets. Too many. Tell me about chit-chat hitting tweets. Oh, okay. At the bottom of the deck, you had a three a cup. You had the page of pentacles and the knight of wands. This page of pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This knight of wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Pisces, you actually telling me that there's somebody else or that you learned about there with somebody else. So Pisces, either you telling me, yeah, you know, I be cheating. I'm a player. And my person figured out it was a third party. Or Pisces, what you telling me is your person cheating and you learned that there was a third party. But whoever this third party is, this somebody friend. This a friend with benefit situation. Well, these hidden tweets is something that at the root of the matter, your person feel like you tried to hide, like hold back with the strength card. Some of you done with a Leo. And with this world card energy, your person is trying to find the courage and the strength to make a decision to end this or close out this cycle because it's a lot of damn argument with this Knight of Swords energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy with the world card energy. That's Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy. So the argument, of, the argument is about what is it you want to do? Do you want this person back? Where you want to be? Do you want to be with me? Should we just end this? And that's the conversation that came up about some DMs or somebody's social media. 
The blockage, the obstacle, the challenge, and the way for your person, Pisces, is this will of fortune. This is fixed energy. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus is energy. Your person feels like nothing's changed with you. And that you just keep obsessing with these thoughts or obsessing over this person. That's the blockage. They feel like nothing's changed. And that you got a secret lover that you still nurturing a connection with. And that's the toxicity. And that's why this Ten of Wands, this energy is so heavy. And that's why this Ten of Wands, because see, look, this is the Ten of Wands. In the Wheel of Fortune, what we started off the reading with. And if you look at the bottom of the bear card, that's the Ten of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, what we damn near ending the read with. So your person feel like nothing changed and you nurturing the connection with a secret lover. And that's why this is so heavy. And they feel like, oh, they, feel, they, they view you as not releasing this person. See how them fish going back and forth? This person, you, they, they view you as um, still caring about this person, still holding on to this person. Going between the two. Trying to heal the connection with them. Putting in work there. Like doing what you want to do. And again, if it don't apply, this ain't your read. But that's the blockage for your person, Pisces. Spirit, Pisces person feel, feel like the blockages, Pisces hasn't changed. And they still doing the same thing. Obsessed with nurturing the connection with a secret love. Tell me about this for, the, for Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, you have sweet messages. You have drain and loved ones. You like sexy. I'm trying to show the cross watcher that I love them. This is getting on my nerves. I keep hearing about this old shit. Sexy, didn't you see that six of cups show up twice? This old shit, sexy. This ain't what I'm doing now. I got you, Pisces. Well, the blockage for your person is, Pisces, that you were supposed to be changing. Some of you dealing with a Scorpio. You were supposed to be changing. Because they saying you ain't changed, Pisces. I'm just telling you that right now. Or you know, listen, see this change in notes for some of y'all, your person think you stored the contact under another name. Your person feel like the blockages you haven't changed. They figured you out with this notes and you know, they feel like you too relaxed, like you're not doing enough or something. I don't know. Or they need a break from this connection. I'm going to clarify notes as the blockage. Spirit, why is notes the blockage for Pisces person? Why is notes the blockage for Pisces person? At the bottom of the deck, we had this Three of Cups, this Page of Pentacles, and this Knight of Wands. All right, we heard that story already. These notes, that's the blockage. It's from this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So it was some messages that were seen about somebody sharing emotions. And that's what changed everything with this Wheel of Fortune. Because that's what we clarified. That's what changed everything with this Wheel of Fortune. And this Magician energy. So your person 
feels like the blockages is that they feel some messages some emotional messages that changed everything and they feel like that you manipulated them and possibly you want to truly be with this person pisces and that's why they seeing you trying to manifest your ex-partner Potential outcome Pisces for you and your person is the five of pentacles, five of pentacles. The potential outcome is somebody being left alone, abandoned, breaking up. Because they regret. I'm hearing lying. And this, this is the potential outcome. And that's why this decision, like somebody awaken, like, damn, I'm about to lose my connection. Can we fix it? Spirit, the potential outcome is a breakup. And somebody regretting where they were going, something like that. Tell me about it. At the bottom of the deck, you hear Sneaky getting closer and Spirit Babies. This is what I get from these three energies. Sexy, they on to me. They listen to their intuition. They on to me. They on to me. Or sexy, I'm listening to my intuition. I'm on to them. I'm on to them. I'm, I'm close to the truth and I know it. Well, the potential outcome is somebody losing the other person because they regret where they were going and who they were seeing because that's how I'm told to give it. They feel like they had a lot of trust in the other one and they was just a sucker because they got ghosted. They got ghosted. Or I'm hearing somebody's no longer a sucker. To the fact that somebody hiding something. I'm clarifying hiding something. Spirit, why is hiding something here in the potential outcome? Why is hiding something here in the... At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. They go that argument again. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, the Three of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Pisces, you telling me, look, I learned it was a third party with a friend, and I we got in an argument. Or you telling me, Pisces, they learned that I had a third party or something going on with my friend. We was drinking and shit, and we got into an argument. So many threes here. Well, somebody think you hiding something. And that's the reason they want to break up with this five of pentacles. This five of pentacles. They feel like you were sharing love messages with this knight of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You stop sending love messages to them. And with this three of wands energy, they feel like you was looking to see what else was out there while they was waiting. So your person feel like here they are waiting for you. They love you. And that you not showing up when you supposed to show up or vice versa. Because the other one is hiding something. They saying like, look, be waiting for the Pisces. And they out there looking for something else, treating me like a sucker. Abandoning me, ghosting me, because they hide in the fact that they share in love with somebody else.
Listen, with that two phones, somebody's SIM card could have got cloned too. That's why up here with this two phones and this shady, somebody, I don't know who that's for. I got that for another sign as well. Somebody's SIM card could have been cloned. Let me get you some um, advice for the three in Pisces. I hope this ain't none of y'all read. How about this? Because this is messed up. Spirit, what advice do you have for Pisces when dealing with their person? What advice do you have for Pisces when dealing with their person? What advice do you have for Pisces when dealing with your person? Some of y'all dealing with a Libra. Because Libra reading really had all this sneaky stuff going on in it. Like they was being done dirty. Like, what, if you watch the Libra reading, and these are the same damn cards that came out damn near. I knew it was going to be a heart to heart conversation. It's mine. Listen, Pisces. Okay, we saying take that shit. I believe. Spirit, what advice do you have for Pisces when dealing with their person? What advice do you have for Pisces when Pisces spirit is in the heart of the matter, the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. There is more going on than meets the eye, and it's causing a lot of confusion. And somebody like trying to reconsider breaking up because of this friend. So Spirit is telling you, Pisces, although you're confused, oh, no, it's more going on. So, Pisces, if you questioning your I don't know who questioning who, but there is more going on to meet the eye because somebody didn't let this other person go. This friend was not let go. This friend was not let go. So, Pisces, if it's you, you didn't let this other person go, this friend go, for real, or if it's your person. Whatever the case may be, this friend was not let go. And it says, receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. Because somebody is getting help from somebody else. Somebody's getting help from somebody else and or they helping somebody else and it's from their past. So I almost feel like spirit is telling too. I'm asking for advice. And I'm here to listen with your heart. So somebody in a connection they don't want to be in. That's what spirit's saying. Somebody feel like they had more of a connection with their friend or something like that as opposed to the person they would. And that's why this is showing up like, like this. Because this is definitely somebody from the past, this ex-partner. Because this last row is what's doing it for me. Listen with your heart. Listen with your heart. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart because this is the number one. This is new love. And somebody not listening to their real feelings because they might have obligations. Because I saw a marriage, a commitment, something serious here. So somebody is like, look, I'm really deeply in love with somebody else, but I'm not going to pay that no mind. I'm not going to give these romantic feelings no attention because I got a family or responsibility. But somebody is manifesting this person would take a chance on love and this calling in your soulmate. That's magician. Somebody is, somebody is manifesting this person. 
It's you, Pisces. You manifesting this damn person. Either it's you or your person, but somebody is manifesting this person. And somebody not happy with what they got, but they ain't trying to leave because they got too many damn responsibilities. Now, if this ain't your read, then you shouldn't have been watching this tarot reading. Because I don't know why people be like, my relationship going good. What the fuck the hell you watch a tarot for? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. This has been your edition of Sexy Years Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Pisces. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video, but I'm going to tell you right now, somebody see exactly what's going on. They're about to make a judgment call. Peace, Pisces, whether that's you or your person. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot.